The boys are back in town and they're here to cause chaos along with bringing political chaos. And these are my thoughts of the first three episodes that I have premiered. There will be spoilers in this so if you haven't watched it, drop a like and come back to it once you have. And if you have, you guys are the real heroes. The first thing I want to get right off the bat is that this season feels a lot more different tonally than the other seasons. It might just be because the cast all look different except from Huey or it might be a colour grading thing or I'm just completely tripping. Putting that aside, this season is off to a decent start. I saw that on Rotten Tomatoes it was the worst rated season so far, but then again, people who put reviews on Rotten Tomatoes don't shower, so you can't really trust it. But comparing it to the past two seasons, the plot does seem to be moving a lot slower in this, because in season three, by the time we'd got to episode three, Homelander had already had his mental breakdown, and it was clear that Soldier Boy was the direction they were going to go. But in this season, it's harder to tell what the direction of the season is. Is it the soup virus, or Newman's political run, or the fight over Ryan? Now if it is the fight over Ryan, then the arc for the season might spill into season 5 since he is essentially the main thing stopping Billy from killing Homelander or Homelander killing Billy. Speaking of Homelander and Billy, both of them are going through their own personal battles as well. Billy is dying from taking too much temp V last season and Homelander is also aging as he is starting to grow and he is trying to pass on his legacy or empire to Ryan which is actually good motivation into him going into god dictator mode but we do see that he is bored by being feared by everyone which is a trait that hasn't been explored much before of Homelander and both Billy and Homelander are trying to create a world to pass on to Ryan whether it be a good world or one in pure chaos. Sister Sage is also really good, her just being super smart is just so annoying for the heroes and somehow causes them more trouble than an actual suit with powers. Proving that intelligence is the most powerful weapon and also her just not being scared of Homelander is actually a genuine bit of fresh air since every other soup has been scared of him besides Stormfront and Soldier Boy. Firecracker is also a pretty good character and since they've decided to make her battle with Starlight a person battle which is probably the first time we've seen Starlight have a personal battle with one of the antagonists it's actually quite exciting. Kimiko having to deal with her past is also pretty interesting seeing as her finally being free from a trauma might actually end up leading her to talk according to the speech therapist and it is an interesting subplot that we will see every episode where they slowly spend like five ten minutes on. Similarly Frenchie has to deal with the fact that he killed Colin's family hopefully they go down a different route than what they did with Lamplighter where he just says he feels guilty and then ends up dying and I have a feeling that one of the boys might actually die this season and it won't be Billy. I think it will be Frenchie. I think Colin will find out the truth and kill Frenchie or something along those lines. MM seems as though he won't have much in terms of a personal fight this season. He might just purely be the leader of the boys which is fine but him having a personal vendetta against Soldier Boy is one of the best parts of season 3. Now let's talk about each individual episode. Episode 1 was a decent start but I was expecting more from what they teased at the end of season 3. Instead it was just sort of rushed and the entirety of the finale of season 3 was just dealt with in 20 minutes but it might I just feel like this may be because we got three episodes perhaps if you had to got one it might have felt like they spent a long time on it but i really was expecting episode one to be a full-on episode of homelander's trial and we see a court scene with a really good lawyer showing up and then we get the verdict instead we just see the verdict be announced before sage causes a riot which was anticlimactic to say the least because they could have kept the riot scene if they just added at least one scene of the court case but nevertheless it's fine but the best part of this episode is the death of todd now all the homies hate todd but at the same time, he didn't deserve such a meaningless death. I was more hoping that MM would punch his face in or something. Instead, him getting killed by the deep under the orders of Homelander was just a bit undermining, but also pretty cool, just because I hate Todd. Huey's dad having a stroke as well might result in Huey being on the sideline for most of the season, as he has to come to grips with this. Though they did resolve the conflict with his mom really quickly, but who knows. We also see Homelander wear normal clothes for the first time ever, and it's weird but good at the same time. Black Noir 2 is also pretty funny. It seems as though they're gonna make him a comic relief character for the whole season or at least for the first few episodes until they reveal who's under the mask. Becca's cameo also made the episode quite a surprise. Episode 2 shows us Billy getting fired from the boys which is actually sad to see especially now that he's actually trying to be a better person. We also go to Truth Gone but we see the boys actually struggle in a fight for the first time in a while until Butcher arrives who then smacks everyone with a crowbar and he almost dies. We finally meet Huey's mom, especially after Huey revealed last season that the real reason he loves Billy Joel is because when his mom left his dad was playing it for him. Will Ferrell plays Coach Brink in this offbeat blindside movie starring A-Train and we finally see some sense of morality appear in A-Train. Maybe after he spent the whole of season 3 trying to fight for the right cause for the first time in the show. Homelander is trying to build this empire for Ryan and Ryan gets the second kill on the show, the poor stuntman. But unlike Homelander he actually feels guilty about this and it's a good sign that Ryan might not end up like Homelander. A-Train also gives Starlight the evidence behind Todd's death proving his moral compass but overall this episode was 
actually an episode that gave me a hope for our heroes that things might actually end up well. The final episode that premiered shows us Billy and Ryan finally meeting after Ryan well, rejecting to go with Billy countless times. And it seems as though they still care for each other, which is a good thing. And Billy realizes that Ryan could actually become good if someone is there to guide him away from Homelander's path instead of him just being kidnapped and being forced to become good. Ashley's replaced as CEO, which just sucks because she's now back to doing nothing. Really, she was just there to stop Homelander from exploding and now Sage is there, so she has nothing to do. We also find out the real reason Huey's mom left and it turns out that she was just depressed and after a failed attempt, she decided that it was best if she just ran away, which was actually an emotional story. And probably the best part so far is Homelander almost kills Huey. I remember seeing the laser land in the pipe and thinking Huey's dead, but thanks to A-Train's assistance, he lives. And A-Train also works with the boys, which is finally good to see as well, but RIP to those poor Vault and Ice actors. So overall, episode Episode 1 gets a 7 out of 10, episode 2 gets a 6, and episode 3 gets a 7. Subscribe and comment below your thoughts on the show so far.